Today's story, Behemshech, to yesterday's story. Yesterday's story talked about Dal Rebbe finally fixing the Nisham of Rabbi Loz about the diet. This is a Medelike Maise, friends. I remember it well. It was Vav Tishrei Tov Shin Lamed 1975, 10 years after the Stalkas of the Rebbe Sanchana. I wasn't in America. I remember the hookup it was the most unusual from Fabrengen from the get go. They were washed. And washed the Vav Tishrei Fabrengen. That, that means, that, and there was uh, benching Kesha Brocha. The Rebbe sang Tzom Lachanavshi that Fabrengen and Bechabotru. It happened maybe one more time, it happened maybe two more times in all of history that it was sung. The Rebbe sang a part, the Rebbe sang back, and the Rebbe continued. It was a very emotional Fabrengen. It was a few days after the Rebbe had launched Mifza Neshek. That was addressing all of the tiniest that the Torah world were having on Mifza Neshek, one by one. And then the Rebbe made a seem. It was, it was, uh, it was the uh, uh, 10 years of the Stalkos of the Rebbe Sanchana on the 6th of Tishrei Tav Shem Chavhei, Shabbos Parsha Shuva. And then we made a seem on Masech the Sukkah. He said, really, you should make a Masech on Masech the Yuma. It's for Yom Kippur. But since it's a Fabrengen and he washed, and Yom Kippur is higher than Achila, and Sukkah is a Hemshech to Yom Kippur, so make see Masech the Sukkah. The end of Masech the Sukkah, the Gemara tells a story there. This is unbelievable, Sikh. Of Miriam Bas Bilga. Bilga, Bilga was, was one of the, the founder, the founding father of this family, it was one of the 24 Mishmores instituted by Dovod Amelach, that the Koenim were divided into 24 watches, and likewise, Yidin were divided into 24 Mamodos uh, on a rotational basis, serving the base of Mikdash. Bilga was one of them, and she was a descendant. So the Gemara is saying how, why this Mishma was penalized by the Chachamim. They were blocked and penalized for generations. And what happened until the destruction of the Basin Mikdash? This Miriam Basimil got married out. She'd married a Greek officer. We're talking about the end of the second. Time, the uh, time of the Greek occupation. The Gemara tells a story that she came in with into the base of Mikdash, and obviously, when coming in to, to bring korbanos uh, for holy purposes, in those days, she married out, and she took her sandal, and she struck the altar. Lucas, Lucas, fox in a, in the Greek. How much longer will you consume the offerings of Israel and not protect them? And there was a big outrage, and and uh, her, her watch was penalized and blocked, etc. And we and, and the Gemara asked Mela, she did, but why is the whole Mishma? Because because if she's like this, then then obviously she's an indication where she comes from. So the whole watch is is uh, is, uh, uh, is so tainted. Which we learn the opposite that Tevla Tzadik Tevla Shechina that the neighbor those associated with the Tzadik and that's how the Gemara ends. And the Rebbe was crying when he said her words. Look, he couldn't say the words. Lucas, Lucas, and the Rebbe spoke the mile of this girl. That here is a girl who married out, and she's coming into the world into the base of Mikdash not for uh, he, he was coming there for. Profanity, whatever it was, that, and she couldn't contain herself, and she called out, "Alter, alter! Why didn't you protect your people?" Extremely emotional. Being malam mitzchus on on Miriam Bas Bilga, and even hearing the hookup, everybody the Fabringen saw that this was uh, something's going on. Simchas Torah that year, the Rebbe addressed, people had asked him, are you talking, the Rebbe is learning Malam Chus on Miriam Bas Bilga? So he answered the whole Arichas, and in the course of his answer, he told the story. And the story he told us with the Alta Rebbe, and this is where we, everybody, this affirmed, confirmed everybody's, everybody's uh, instinctual feeling.
And hear the story. So the story of the Alter Rebbe is that someone once came to the Alter Rebbe with a person who had, who had like a dibuk entered him. He was possessed. This is a whole discussion for itself. It used to happen. It used to happen. So there's a wonderful book, Dibuk, written by Gersh and Kranzler, that records the most recent one was not so long ago, less than 100 years ago. Chafetz Chaim was involved, huh? No, it is. It doesn't happen anymore, I don't think. It can happen because there's no one that, can, that, that could exercise it, to, to borrow a term. At any rate, so this person, so the Al-Terebbe, person comes, al starts speaking, defending those who murdered Zechari Hanavi. Zechari Hanavi was murdered in the Beis Hamikdash before the, before the destruction of the second Beis Hamikdash. I'm sorry, the first Beis Hamikdash. The whole idea, his blood was seething on the ground for, for, for uh, till, till it was destroyed. And, and, and uh, the Al-Tarebis de defended them. What did he say? It's because he was standing there and he was telling the Yin, if they don't do tshuva, they'll be the Khurban. And they didn't want him to say these words because once a Navi says it, it's very hard to retract. And so they had Mr. Nefesh to kill him, not that he shouldn't, they knew what was coming. Don't say these words, it shouldn't happen, knowing that they themselves would, would do whatever heavenly punishment that they would have. That Rebbe went, oh no, and then Rebbe went on to say, no, the al himself said, so they had the Mesiris Nefesh, so why didn't he have the Mesiris Nefesh? Not to say it. He said, because he was beyond the Debrish to told him, his bottle of the Mitzis, he had to say it. At any rate, bottom line story is, what you're hearing is, the al was Malam Mitzchus, and as, when he finishes saying his whole Torah, the person just all of a sudden, and he, he said, and these are Ruchas, he became okay. Now Tebbe said, because this person was possessed by these, the Ruchas of these Yidin that killed him. This is a thousand years later. It's almost 2,000 years later. 2,000 years later. And by the Melamed's Chos, they got the Tikkun, and they were able to find peace. And he was, he was left okay. But finished. Never continued. Then, then right after the story, continue going back to see him. The sukkim more the yukim in the in the scene. So this is affirmed for everyone. But it happened here. Only God knows why. Is that two, God knows why for two thousand years Miriam Bas Bilga didn't have a tikkun. And this fabrengin above Tishrei, the Rebbe fixed her, elevated, redeemed her nisham. It was a major dicky thing that. Uh, we were present to see. Have a wonderful day. And tomorrow, friend, six o'clock, we continue the Chazorah. We continue the Maimon. Praise Hashem.